It's 1151. Women's basketball is surging in popularity right now, thanks in part to the likes of Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Many in Milwaukee, though, may remember when Milwaukee had a professional women's basketball team. To tell us more about it, Molly Snyder from On Milwaukee joins us live. Molly, I'm so glad that you're here and that we're talking about this because this is so interesting. Many people, they either may remember or they might not remember the Milwaukee Does. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, quite a while now, but Milwaukee did have a professional women's basketball team. Uh, there was a league in the 70s and 80s that was called the WBL, and it was the Women's Pro Basketball League. And we had a team, and they were called the Does, like the female Bucks. And uh, they played three seasons uh, here in Milwaukee at the Panther Arena, which was then called the Milwaukee Arena. Um, and it didn't go very well, but it is a part of our history and it is worth noting. <laughs> Yeah, that is so fascinating and <laughs> a moment of transparency. It was not until just this moment when you said that, that I connected that the does, doe, a female deer, the, th the female Milwaukee buck. That, that is uh, genius. Even back in the 70s and 80s, well before the WNBA started in uh, the mid 90s. Uh, talk about how the team, the Milwaukee does, was received back then. Um, it started out really well. Uh, there was the first game, there was uh, about 8,000 people that came uh, to see it. But then what happened was they got virtually no coverage from the press whatsoever. And uh, just people stopped coming and they, they literally uh, couldn't give the tickets away. Their logo also, uh, some would probably deem a problem now. I mean, first of all, that was this uh, a doe, this kind of a sexy figure, voluptuous figure with very small feet, uh, did not at all look like a strong basketball player. Uh, so it was kind of uh, a little off in terms of not marketing these women as the actual professional, excellent athletes that they really were. It People kind of thought it more of a, like, you know, maybe more of a novelty thing than it was actually taking it seriously. I mean, these women went on, you know, to coach basketball. I mean, they were they were the real deal. They were real athletes. They just weren't quite get, given the marketing uh, to back up their skills. Yeah, and just fascinating to see how much has changed uh, since that time. We did hear from the WNBA just this month, uh, the head of the WNBA saying that the league is considering expanding to about four other uh, cities uh, across the country. No word if uh, Milwaukee is really on that list, but do you think that the, we could see a professional basketball team here in Milwaukee, women's basketball team again? I really do. Uh, I quoted in my article and I had a really nice uh, conversation uh, with um, the, the DJ for the Bucks, uh, Shauna, and DJ Shauna, and, and, and her quote is great. You know, she says the right time for the Doe's was not in the 70s and 80s, but it did happen. And that's what's important. And it happened in Milwaukee. The mm. Doe's blazed a path and were pioneers for the next wave of women basketball players. There so I really agree with that. Yes. I mean, they were, they, it, it, it happened here once it could happen here again, I guess is in short what I'm saying. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And I love your article as well on this, the Milwaukee Doe's folks can take a read at it on, on Milwaukee. Molly Snyder joining us as she does every Friday. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week.